Hi everyone, this is Sig Suarez and welcome to another episode of Watch Manila. Today we are taking a look at a new watch brand with their first model release. This one is called the Argos Odyssey. This watch was launched around two months ago and today we will have the chance to see if this one can compete in the field and if this watch is any good. So come on, let's take a look and let's see whether the Argos can match up with the competition. Before we proceed, Watch Manila would just like to disclose that Argos provided the watch for the Watch Manila Anniversary Raffle. Now let's take a look at the background of Argos. According to Ivan Soberano, one of the founders of Argos, the inspiration for the name Argos comes from Homer's book called The Odyssey. In the said book, Argos is the name of Odysseus' faithful dog. The watch reflects the dog's character of strength and loyalty. Further, the companionship between Odysseus and Argos is another highlight which the brand hopes to capture. Ivan hopes that the Argos watch will serve as a faithful companion to its owner from the humble beginnings up to success. According to Ivan, Argos hopes to contribute to the growth of the watch industry in the Philippines. They hope to innovate watchmaking in the Philippines especially on the engineering aspect. Now let's go to the unboxing. The box of the Argos is pretty nice. So it comes in a sleeve and you can open it after that one. When you see it, it goes straight at you. But to the right, you should have the warranty card which will come in your purchase of the watch. The watch comes in strongly at you. Great accents, strong and chunky watch. At the back, you will see that the rotor is color blue. It's also one of the highlights of the watch. So we'll take a look at the watch deeper. Now let's take a look at the quick specifications of the watch. The movement is a Seiko NH35A and it's an automatic movement with a manual winding capability. There is a hacking and a date display. There is a 41 hour power reserve of the watch. The water resistance is 50 meters but it has been tested by Watch Manila which we will show later on. The glass is a curved sapphire crystal and the weight is 149 grams. Case size is 38 mm without the crown, lug is 20 mm, and thickness is 11 mm, but as we tested it, it was 12.2 mm. So let's start with the things that we love about the Argos. The first one is the bracelet feel. For this price point, we love this bracelet compared to the other selections and other competition. Number two, we also like the white or they call it the cream dial. Because the cream dial is not your typical white dial. It has a texture, that beautiful texture which you would be reminded about the, the Grand Seiko. Next is that it is dive tested although this is just to be clear this is not a dive watch but it went to a depth of 70 feet or over 21 meters so that's still quite an achievement for a watch which has been promoted as a daily companion watch lastly it does not bank on the filipino pride marketing it tries to stand on its own and compete with the quality and standards all other support would be appreciated by the brand, but the quality and the standards, this one is something they're very proud of. Now let's go to things which we hope Argos can improve on. The first one is the thickness. The watch is thick. There's no denying with that one. It looks thick and it feels thick. So when you compare it with the other watches, for example, the Rolex Explorer stands at 11.1 mm, the Datejust is at 12 mm, but as we tested this one, this one is at 12.2 mm. 
so it's a chunky watch and the lines on the side do not help so if they can find a way to do an optical illusion of some sorts or put this watch on a diet it would be a better companion the next one is the date personally i don't like the date window because it's not very pleasing to the eye at least in my opinion for other people it might look good it might be functional but for me i would prefer something cleaner and the third one is that the design is not that much of a unique design this watch looks a lot like many of the other selections already offered in the market what are the challenges being faced by the argos watch well the first is that the watch is being sold for 17,999 pesos which is not a cheap price the second challenge springs from the price selection of watches in that price range is quite competitive what can you get for 18,000? You have a selection of Seikos in that range. You also have Citizens, Hamiltons, and others in that price point. Given the selection, Argos should find a way how to convince people that their watch deserves a spot in their collections. Many people would like to know, how does this watch feel when worn daily? Actually, this watch feels equally as capable as any other daily beaters be it a Seiko, a Casio, or a Citizen. It will get you through the day quite well. You'll have accurate time, you'll have no problem with it, and you'll feel like you have a quality watch. One comment which I would like to emphasize here is the heft of the watch. Most of the watches at this price point feel lighter, mainly because of the bracelets. So their bracelets feel hollow and light. But this watch I think has the right weight so the bracelet for some reason they they had a perfect combination of that weight they have that perfect formula for the weight and in my opinion it has that good weight feel to your hand personally I love the cream color over the blue for the dial ultimately the Argos Odyssey is a good first attempt for the brand it features the usual luxuries of today's watches, the sapphire crystal, the automatic movement, and 316L steel among others. However, like all other brands, there is room for improvement. I'm also thinking that a rubber strap might work fine on this watch. For doing the daily grind, this watch is indeed a good companion. For those who would want to purchase this watch, you may purchase it online via www.argos-watches.com And for this video, Argos has provided a discount voucher which is Watch MNL 500. You enter it in order to get a 500 pesos rebate for your purchase. And that is it for the review of the Argos Odyssey. I hope you enjoyed the video and continue to join me watch the watches.